So let's have some fun today. This is a box of Lego from the Lego Education Program. Uh, this is the Lego We Do um, 95 AD kit that I got online. Uh, let's see what's in here. A sheet of parts uh, with a motor and some sensors and some other pieces here and some other parts over here. Um, there are the pieces, that's the motor um, with a connector. So we have a motor. This is a sensor. This is a uh, motion sensor. It allows you to go this way, uh, go this way. Um, there is uh, a hub where you plug in all the devices. This has a USB connection at the other end. And uh, um, we have a distance sensor which uses infrared. So these are the four pieces we have here. And then underneath this are a bunch of pieces with some little characters and so on to build a little robot or some such thing that would use the motors and the other pieces. Next we take a look at the software side of things. Here we have um, Sugar running on uh, the old PC laptop. Uh, we are using um, the release from old PC. This is 10.1.3. So we'll look for uh, the cat icon which is Scratch. Scratch is a piece of software available from scratch.mit.edu um, and this is what we'll be using to control the robot. So here's the interface. It, uh, it's got several panels and uh, you got a bunch of blocks on the left side. You have a cat which is a sprite um, that we can control. So the idea here is that you could go for instance uh, and grab one of these blocks here and say move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees to the right, move another 10 steps and make the cat do things. So uh, let me zoom in so you can take a look. There we go. So we have those three blocks there and now what will happen is that if I were to click these three the cat on the right will actually follow instructions. So move 10 steps then turn right, move another 10 steps. We can keep doing that and the cat will go in circles. There we go. So, so you get the idea. You are controlling the cat using a bunch of blocks here. Now um, what we want to do is use the same set of blocks and the same concept but actually control the motors uh, on the Lego robot. So down here are motor blocks um, and if you don't see these you can go to the file um, go to the menu under edit and show motor blocks and then those will be available. Um, here we've got a block that says uh, motor on for one second. There's a block that says motor power 100 so I'll attach it over there and then motor on for another one second. Now what I want to do is change the one second to 10 seconds, change the power from 100% to 50% and change the motor on again for 10 seconds. And let me zoom in to show you what we have here. There we go. So we have one block that will run the motor for 10 seconds. We have another block that will lower the power to 50% and then a third block that will make it run for another 10 seconds. And then the idea is that these blocks here when clicked upon will now control the motor which then turns things on the Lego set. So let's take a look at the bot on the Lego side and then click on these and see what happens. Okay so we have a little rig here. This is um, a rotating thing here. We've got, let's see, a gear system. There's a motor. Uh, that motor turns this gear, which turns this gear, and then we'll rotate this this device here. Um, 
on the XO we've got um, the motor on for 10 seconds then the motor power drops to 50 and then it runs for another 10 seconds um, so this is all set to go let's see uh, we've got it all set up here and so when I turn this on this will start rotating at full speed for about 10 seconds and then stop and then run at half speed which is because we set the motor power to 50 for another 10 seconds so there you have it you can control a motor with scratch and